done quite a lot now. We have a picture of the pyramid and the information. We have two videos about King Tut's tomb and mummification process, but we completely skipped, didn't touch the topic of the pharaohs. So if we want to add something more, again, we're going to go into Edit. And again, I just want to click on the uh, drawing wherever I want to add my tag. And I was wondering, we often want kids to post the information or the link to the site that they were using for their research. So what if we'll do this? I don't like it to be blue also. So if I go back to change it maybe to red, will mm -hmm. be good. Red. So once we've got our icon set, we want to go find that site that we're going to reference. So in the new tab, we had a site that we liked already for our pharaohs. We thought it's a pretty good site. It's informative. It uh, has suitable language for the sixth grade. It has lots of information. So we're going to come back to our picture, to our tag that's red right here, and paste the link to that site. As soon as we do, here it comes. So now, just like we did with the videos and the images, we're just pasting an address link in there. And now you can see on this one it says read more. Which, this, which means that um, as you hover over and you see that it's a link to the site, you can click here and get to the site itself and explore the site. And you can see what I really like, how they have a preview now of the site. So you can short information about what the site will be about. But as soon as you, you are happy with your tag, you click Save again, so your tab is saved. Now let's practice this. So I'm, if I save my image and then come to this tag, hover over, I can see that's the link. If I click on Read More, it opens to the site. So it opened a whole separate tab right to that site. Cool.